Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and today we're going to be taking a look at this right here. This is the Intelligent 3D Pen. I have no idea who made it, but we're gonna check this out. Now, first of all, the editing of this video might not be the greatest because this is the first time I'm syncing up audio from three different sources, but let's get this open. So something like this, I actually have no idea how to review, and that's why I decided to sort of do an unbox therapy sort of style, so that's what we're doing. Okay, this looks like the pen itself. Okay, whatever this is. Oh, this is probably a holder. This is your ABS plastic right there. This is your PLA plastic. This is your charger, I guess. I don't know if it has to be plugged in while you're using it. And here is your instructional manual. So let's get this out of the way and then we'll try using this product. Okay, so basically here is all your controls. So that'll be, you can see them side by side. So that's how it works. We're gonna have to load up the plastic in here and the charger plugs into... Oh, yeah, the plastic goes in there, and the charger is right here. Okay, that makes sense. And then this thing is the stand, you stick it in there, but then this thing suction cups, and it doesn't really work on my desk. Oh, there we go, works right there. Yeah, that's okay. And then I can stick this thing in there. But yeah, it doesn't really work on my desk, so yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to read the manual. There's a bunch of Chinese or whatever. Where's the English? Wow, this is a lot of instructions. Looks like it's in a whole bunch of different languages or something. Okay, so it doesn't have a battery. This is actually to power it. So I'm gonna have to plug this in. I'll be right back. This is not a very long cable. It's like almost as wide as my arm stretching out. That's not very long. Okay, so I got this thing plugged in, and that that light turns on to show that it's plugged in, I guess. Okay, connect the adapter with the power source, then insert the end of the wire into the adapter. Okay, so let's go ahead and try out the ABS. I'm not going to really try out the PLA because this is just showing a basic idea of how this product works. Right here, there's two buttons you got to select between PLA or ABS. We're going with ABS, so I gotta select ABS, and then I take this stuff and I stick it through here. Then it says enter the preheating process. And then it says these are the speed buttons. Okay, so these are the speed buttons, how fast it's gonna come out, and these are to pull it in and pull, push this plastic out. Yeah, it's pu it pulls it through, okay, so. I'm gonna try and make something. I don't know if paper is exactly the right thing to try with this. I guess I can try it right on my desk. You can hear that slight buzzing. Okay, so I think it's definitely pulling it in. So I'm gonna let it pull it all the way through and start drawing. It doesn't exactly smell or look good, but... So that's how it works. Okay, so let's try and make some kind of shape. Maybe I'll shape this key right here. Okay, well, 
Anyways, you guys get the point. So how does this thing work? It allows you to draw plastic, basically. You draw with this plastic, and basically the reason why you can draw in the air with it is because if you go slow enough, you can build it up. So that's the idea of this thing. So, it, does this thing do what it's supposed to do? Yes and no. I think it does what it's supposed to do, but it definitely needs to be improved. I mean, obviously you're not going to be able to make a whole lot of stuff with this, but it will be fun, so... Would I recommend this? Uh, well... If you're gonna spend a little bit of money on the filling and all that, and you're gonna take the time to make something, then it'll be fun, otherwise not. So, I'll leave a link to this down below. Let me know if you like this type of video, and that's pretty much it. Ow. I'll see you guys next video.